y'all. Can y'all hear me? Microphone's bad. I don't think I testing. Hello. Oh, okay. Phone. Obviously, it wasn't a holiday for you guys, but it was a holiday for me. My birthday was yesterday. <laughs> and I am one spoiled brat. Yeah, baby. No, it's, it's no, baby. No, you're not. But see, you know it. I'm coming along. Thank you all. Woohoo! Thank you just to kind of get it out there. Happy birthday, tell me. Happy birthday, tell me. Happy birthday, Tia. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> now you guys know I always kick off first few moments with a, um, a public service announcement and a safety tip. Hitting the sauce. <laughs> Hi, Rebecca, Rebecca. <laughs> just a little bit, just a midge. <laughs> um, Hi, Cranes. Nina and Cindy B. Just to kind of kick it off. You guys know I work in insurance. I've been in insurance for, holy cow, a long time. Just over two decades. Fix the camera. One moment. I'm trying, uh oh. See my packages? I still have a couple. I was trying to get everything cleared away. Is that better? Yeah. Big safety tip. And this is extremely important. Today I was recognized by our special investigation unit. Special investigation unit reports directly to the Department um, of Insurance and insurance is regulated by an insurance commissioner. Just to kind of give you guys uh, an idea of how important it is to kind of report exactly as the information occurs, um, small little details, small things that you report in your initial statement when you speak with your adjuster can come back to haunt you later on. It's more difficult to remember, you know, um, I'm just going to be blunt. It's more difficult to remember lies than it is to remember the truth. And so I always obtain recorded statements when necessary, especially when there can be a conflict in how uh, the accident occurred. If it's clear cut, your vehicle was parked and it was unoccupied, then of course, you know, those are, for me, those are what I consider clear cut and the responsibility on who's at fault is obvious um but it's a little more difficult when it's something like an intersection accident and there's no camera that was visible on both parties at the time obviously we're not looking at movie events of accidents we spend a lot of time recreating the scenes and looking at what i feel is extremely important for you guys all to remember is to always remember that um those little details are, are extremely important. You can, you, you can give misleading information and be noted uh, by an adjuster, your insurance company, an investigation team, and the Department of Insurance um, as defrauding the insurance company. 
So sometimes it's not worth it. If you have a report it, if you have one and you reported it and there miraculously is a second or a third, then we're going to check on that. So what I'm getting at is be aware, be mindful. As soon as something comes to your you know, recollection, get that information over to your adjuster. But it may not always be wise, you know, to continue to try to support misleading information. Okay, so with that said, there we go. Straight, y'all, she, <laughs> too hard to remember. It is definitely too hard to remember lies. Is that Pippa? Hey, Pippa. Did you get my message? Because I know I messaged you hours later. Um, you guys see my little headband? Yes. I am definitely rocking the um, Pocahontas. That used to be my nickname. <laughs> Not that it was fun, but that used to be my nickname. So my eyes look wonky as I'm reading. I did flat iron my hair for the holiday, which my birthday. And uh, yes, I have a new device. So it straightened my hair a lot. And um, I don't know if I will be wearing it straight for very long because the weather here in the desert is acting crazy. Oh, I did. Thanks. They are on their way. To okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. So we have... Uh, besides me trying to hurry up and eat while I was clearing my... For all of you who are late, Pippa, just so you know, my camera was, you know, at a weird end. Packages. My birthday was yesterday, and obviously I got a lot of birthday love. And um, My kids spoiled me. <laughs> uh, apparently, I'm still waiting on not one, not two, but three uh, Diamond Art Clubs. So, whoo! And I already got one Diamond Art Club. I got that, Um, I think... I think Justin gave it to he gave it to me Sunday, but I think he said it came in Saturday. He made me wait a whole day, y'all. Anyway, um, so I got those Diamond Art Club. My daughter, she went all out. Apparently, I must have bad skin because she got me a whole skincare line with exfoliating and scrubs and things. It smells really good, but I wanted to share that. So I got those. Um, I got some Hershey Kisses. I, I got I got a lot of stuff. I got um some you guys probably can understand this but some girdles love girdles yep they're they're good second skin mm. i've been waiting for this this nothing from mommy did you hear that guy she's proud of it yeah i am <laughs> this is a fire cast i broke down and got two during the bogo sea bogo sea melody and beautiful beach bridge Ooh, and Nina got two also from the BOGO. Oh, yes. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Is she hamstring or is it just me? What's hamstring? Oh, hamstring. Yeah, that was hamsters a few minutes ago. It should be doing it again. Please wait while we try reconnecting. Yes, it probably was because it was okay so mama can you come in for a quick minute i'll flip the camera to the ceiling i promise please what's the matter that i'm gonna flip it up hold on here we go technical difficulty they're not gonna see you mommy because why can you grab this, please? It is, look, it's up. Oh, uh, that's all you had to say. It's up. Okay. Oh, okay. It's time for me to get it. Y'all Yes. Thank you very much. Yumsters, I so appreciate your hard work, Mama. You do. I do. I does, I does. I do, I do. All right, see you a little bit. In your dreams. Hi, Mama. Okay. Here we go. And it's time to.
to uh oh to get there we go guys that's iced tea <laughs> hey rebecca okay my mom had her hair tied up and what is going on tonight all right to show that on camera i'm gonna put my hair up in a minute and right. I'm going to show you guys. Is that good lighting? Is that good lighting? Bad lighting? You guys let me know. Okay. What is a lot of hamster in tonight? I don't know what that's about. Yes, iced tea. My mom made a homemade pitcher. Yes, no, no Long Island iced tea. <laughs> Not during the week. Not during the week, although that would be great <laughs> on a Friday night when I know I have a couple of days to go. So my mom made iced tea yesterday. Oh, it was really refreshing. Okay, so we'll get started. This is another gift that I got, you guys. This is from Ever Moment. This is my smallest Ever Moment I've ever had. And I wanted to share it with you guys because it's the smallest ever moment I've ever had. I didn't even realize they made them this small. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and share it. Uh, it reminds me of, I do have uh, Loverbirds by Diamond Art Club. And it's giving me a Loverbird feel. Oh. You guys, let me know. What do you think? Is that cute? This is a 20 by 30. That's what I said. It's a mini, little mini snack size ever moment. But I think the clarity is really cute. The colors are bright, bright and vibrant. When I look at the symbols, let's see if you guys can see any symbol. When I look at the symbols. I don't know. I'm trying to get it to focus in. But I mean, I really think that it's, it's really nice. Just so I'm going to, the only thing I was like, wow, you know, this is really nice. This goes to what you were just saying, Cindy B. This thing has, for it to be that small, 42 colors. 42. Can you believe that? On a 20 by 30, 42 colors. So not too bad. I think it'll be just over 10,000 diamonds placed. Kind of looking forward to that. I have never gotten uh, ever moment. Oh, treat yourself, Nina. If you like squares, treat yourself. You're going to love it. So Justin has been working on a round, um, and it's a uh, Diamond Art Club. He feels about rounds. He's really starting to enjoy. You coming? You coming in? You coming in because I got to move this stuff up. Justin is here, guys. I'm sorry. It's a lot of bags. Say hello. You can take your coat off. And, uh, hello, son. How are you? Hi, coloring notebook. How are you? Well, Nina, if you love squares, um, square, treat yourself. I'm square guru. <laughs> Justin is the square guru. Treat everyone saying, hey, Justin. Treat yourself to an ever moment. You will love it. You won't regret it. Um, I was shocked. Based on how small this is, I am still shocked, shocked that it has 42. I'm sorry, guys, that you know I'm all over the place tonight with my craft studio. Oh. Um, it's a great time because, because yeah, I did, I told him about my birthday. <laughs> um, it's definitely a great time, but I just, I wasn't expecting to have, um, all of these packages over here and things like that. So I was a little late because as I was moving them away, <laughs> I went out and came back in. Uh oh. Did that make it better? Look says, hi, Justin. That's my oldest son's name. Well, Justin is a real popular name. Um, yeah. 
<laughs> so, um, what did Cindy say? I have spinning wheels. Cindy B says, I went out and came back in and that got rid of her spinning wheels. Sarah Hen says, I did as well and lowered my quality to 240. Okay, it's doing it again. In an, I think I'm here right now. Right? I think I'm here. Oh, I think I'm here. Please tell me I'm not breaking the internet. Trying to make sure it's not too much resolution. I think sometimes my camera goes wonky when too much like color and things are happening. Okay. Let's see if that. Yeah, you're breaking the internet. <laughs> you jinxed yourself. If I don't comment, you'll know why. <laughs> oh, Cindy B, I don't want to lose you. If you come, if you leave out, please come back in. It already about, you know what I'm saying? I uh, see it says your connection is unstable. That's not good. Look at them. The sound is fine, but the image keeps freezing. Well, I don't know what to say. Let me see. I'm going to close this. Here we go. And hopefully that helps. And I'm going to close that. Maybe, maybe, baby, I just have too much open. And we'll see. Yeah, I'm going to look at that. Okay. And. See. see How about that? I'll turn that on. Maybe that'll work. Okay. Well, here we go. Again, if you leave out, come back in. All right, to summarize, you guys know last week we did our big um, giveaway. Congratulations to all who won. Pippa, who's here right now? She won our peg. Gail, she won our two diamond paintings. And our grand prize winner was Shawana's Creative Circle. Yay! Uh, Shawana won the acrylic pen. Um, if you go to any of their channels, uh, with the exception of Pippa, they have received their items, and I believe Gail said that she'd already done her um, unboxing. Um, so that'll be fun to kind of watch everything that we were seeing and excited about. Um, yeah, so we'll just have to, that's right, congrats to all the winners. This month, Justin and I are going to be giving away just one giveaway. We don't know yet what, when we're doing that. I believe it's going to be sometime around um i believe christmas is on is it on wednesday uh oh i don't think that we're gonna do a live on wednesday because we're gonna be having fun we have a lot of christmas isn't it that's a bummer yes so christmas is on a wednesday which sucks we're gonna figure a, a day uh we will be doing a uh a diamond art club giveaway I don't, yes, more giveaways. <laughs> um, also, um, my moderators, your your gifts are, they're custom. So I am waiting for the email from you guys. Um, so that's Marissa, Cindy B, Rebecca McClellan, Rachel Ray, Jeremy, and um, Crafting with Miss Crochet and Coffee. So that's my team, my supportive team. It's been there with me since I opened my channel ask them anything i get all types of help and support really appreciate everything you guys have done for us and um i, I wish the moment that i placed the order <laughs> that things were on their way but um hopefully when you guys get those you'll be excited yay and there'll be lots of fun um i hope to be able to maybe create some type of quick video to where I can kind of pop everybody in and do like an explosion of fun. You know, my editing skills. Really love my snowman. Thanks again. Cranes won our first giveaway of the month. Congratulations. I know I can't wait either. Uh, to Cranes. Marissa says, I'm just super excited to get anything. Well, I'm super excited for you guys to get these. 
because I know customs take a little bit longer. So I was hoping, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I'm excited though. That's that's the point. Is it's the excitement for you know team crazy. <laughs> um. So let's see. Diamond Art Club. I, I we still don't know. So what I would like to do to introduce is if you guys could post down there in in the in the chat in the chat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it's more like over here. I think are great ideas for a Diamond Art Club painting. And we're going in half on that. And that's going to be like, yeah. Mom, are you talking to me? Mama, Mom. I can't hear you. Wait, well, I don't know how to whisper. You didn't hear what you said. Well, I heard that and all of this. Yeah, okay, groceries. I got to go out again. Oh, Cindy B. Be right back. Going to change Wi-Fi bands because she is freezing again. What again? What is going on? Is it me, or is is it? It's got to be me. Come back! Don't want to lose my viewership. Oh no! What did I do? What I did? Are we all still here? Hello. Hello. It looks like the viewership picks up when I say Diamond Art Club. When I start talking to y'all, it goes down. <laughs> oh, you are freezing in mine too. Won't stop buffering and I have left and come back in. I think hamsters are from your side. Look at all y'all talking to me at the same time. I don't believe it's me. I just serious. It's because I'm almost late. I'm here. Don't know for how long. Uh oh. Rest no restarting. Let's see. It says my connection is unstable. My connection is unstable. Me don't know. Me don't know why. Change my stream. Up update. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Un momento, por favores. Nope, nope. Okay, I'm check. I'm checking now. I'm checking now. Hold the phone. Hold the. I'm almost done. Okay. No. Not there. No. You leaving me? You leaving? Oh. How's that look? Anybody? Are you guys back in? I am in the process as we speak. Okay, Cindy B's back. I'm trying to switch. I'm gonna go from my big one. My, I'm here. It stopped buffering for now. Oh, let me check and see. I'm gonna hurts. Yeah, I switched over on my um, internet connection, and I don't know why it does. It never makes sense to me. But there have been times when I um, have to call IT and I'm chatting with them, and the first thing they always do is tell me to go from my five gigahertz. 
connectivity down to my 2.4. And they say a lot of times switching down to a lower one is uh, more stable. Um, Cause for some reason when I'm on my um, fire stick and I'm having difficulty with that, it'll always tell me. And coloring book nook is still buffering. The only problem with that is I'm not buffering hardly anywhere near as much as you guys are. Every like 10 people, then it'll come up with a message across the top that says your internet connection. Um, I wonder if it's still too much color, especially up here. It's a lot of color up there. And I think it's time for a new... Anybody, how often have you guys had to? Oh, peculiar. Yeah, definitely. Seems okay for now. One, two, three. How often do you guys have to replace your light pad? I think that I got to get a new light pad. This one right here is like 11 months old. But like the wire keeps short changing. I have to press really, really hard to get the brightness to go from zero to, to the highest one to three. No, it didn't do uh, that happened to me a week or so ago and I had to reset my internet connection. Okay. Well, you know, Rebecca, what I'm going to do. It, hey, Rebecca, don't you have a birthday coming up at the end of the month? Um, I'm going to do that later. I haven't reset my internet in a while. You're a Capricorn. Try a magnetic tip cable. Oh, I haven't replaced any. How many do you have, Cindy B? Use his. But I'm like, gosh. Mine is almost a year, and it's still good, but I rarely move it. I definitely feel that uh, maybe I need a bigger one. It depends on how many drinks you spill on the light. And yes, my birthday is the 29th. Yeah, that's so Capricorn. I was on task. Doing anything special? Going anywhere? I obviously am not going anywhere. Um, <laughs> I'm here. But um, this weekend, they're having the Artesian. I have an A4 and an A3. I definitely want, a, what is it? A4 is the bigger one, right? No, A3 is the bigger one, right? I definitely want the, the A3. I think that one would. Is there one the size of our drafting table? I would love one that size. That would help me out a lot. Because like Marissa says, I don't like having to move this. And I, I believe that's why I'm having the problems that I'm having. Because I, I'm constantly sliding this. I'm always sliding it alongside of here like this. Nope, we'll be right here. Not going anywhere, huh? This weekend here in Vegas, they're doing an artesian Christmas craft uh, fair. It's supposed to be huge. There are people at my job that are talking about it that are not into crafting at all. And they're talking about, yeah, I think I'm going to go check if there's anything I might be interested in. So I think that that is huge. Um, whatever your craft, you know, um, addiction is, Hopefully, you know, we can always invite new people um, because that makes the addiction even more fun. Yep, gave the four to my daughter. Is it too big? I don't know. Get an A2, you will love it. That's what I'm going to do, Rebecca. Cassie says if you unplug it at the pad, it will go bad fast. If you unplug it at the plug, it lasts longer. Hmm. Well, I have mine taped at the plug because when I first put it in, this one came, it was, you know, so here's the thing. And this is why I stopped shopping on Wish. If you guys can see that, I don't want to lift it up. Right here, that green plug, I bought off of Amazon. And this, you probably can't see it, but this right here, this, you can hear it. That's tape. I taped this to this when I first got it. This light pad <laughs> came from Wish. 
And when I ordered it, it said light pad. <laughs> I didn't know A3, A2, A4, things of that nature. I believe this is an A4. <laughs> and all I got in the box was this. <laughs> there was no plug that came with it. I know I see a lot of people that have their uh, battery packs and things of that nature. I ordered a light pad and that's what the hell I got. <laughs> a light pad. So all of this Jimmy Reagan was done after I got it because I was like, oh my gosh, I have to do something to make it work. You know, there was no instructions and it came in a like clear plastic bubble wrap. You know, they didn't put no effort into it. So I paid for the light pad and then like another four or five dollars for the shipping. I was done with Wish after that. <laughs> so lesson learned. Hopefully all the newbies can learn the lesson that I learned just from listening and they don't have to spend time waiting, all excited about the package coming. And then when you get it, it's just bubble wrap with the light pad. I didn't even think it was going to work. So I go and I get this. Um, I got it off of Amazon. You know, you can buy a whole bunch of uh, the micro uh, USB cords. Um, and I use this one exclusively, taped it to the end. And like you said, Cassie, I'm plugging from the plug. Um, but yeah, still it's starting to short out. My hand is over here. Uh, I would like one as big as my drafting table as I can get, though. That would help me out a lot. So we'll see. The search is on. I'm going to look for that A2. Hopefully it doesn't kill me. <laughs> uh, and A2 will be close. Okay, Marissa. Well, I'm definitely going to get that then. And I just got an A3. Love it. Nina says the bigger they are. A2 is bigger than A4. And I, oh, Cindy B says I like my A3. It's big enough for me. My A3 doesn't unplug at the light pad. Oh, so it just, it comes already with the cord. Does it have the, like the three brightness? Cause Justin's, his came with, you know, all of that, but he doesn't have the power button to, you know, increase the light and decrease the light. And Cassie's doesn't either. Where do you buy the A2s, Rebecca? Where's the A2 sold? That is what I need to know. That would be helpful. So, Christmas time. Jeremy! Hi! Howdy, y'all. You're talking about a light pad to buy the new light pad that has the white and no USB cord. That's true. That's exactly true. You can adjust the light. Okay. Amazon. Okay, Amazon. There we go. Amazon is like every crafter's best friend. Unless, you know, you, you have a Michaels nearby, obviously. You know, you catch a nice sale. Guess where I went this weekend, my mom and I? We went to Joanne's Fabric. I haven't been in Joanne's in a long time since I gave up sewing. I gave up sewing because um, it costs more to, to make the outfit than it did to just buy, you know, to buy the dress or whatever outright. So I quit sewing. Oh. Anyway, after I quit sewing, um, I got into other crafts and things of that nature. So it was no longer important for me to, to be able to go to Joann's. I decided to go there. They supposedly had a great sale on. It was definitely, you know, Black Friday week. Trying to see if they had any anything exciting going on. There was absolutely nothing that caught my eye. Like I was hoping maybe, maybe yarn is on sale and maybe yarn will be exciting again because I haven't been excited in, you know, buying yarn and crocheting probably in eight years. It's been about seven or eight years. Um, and so it's like maybe yarn will be on sale. Nope. And fabric, you know, who wants to pay five, six dollars a yard? You need three to four yards just, you know, to make something that you could have, you know, paid half, you know, half of that for. So it's an interesting lesson. It is. When's the last time you guys have been into Joann's? Is that something that you guys find yourself going in a lot? Um, I know online there is this store on um, the East Coast. I forget the name of it. 
Um, it's closing, and I know a lot of people are upset about it, but when they announced it online on uh, news here, it said that they were buying into a Michaels franchise. So that the store, even though it's been open for a while, I think like 30 or 40 years, he was there. Anything? I think we went Saturday. AC Moore, that's right, Marissa. AC Moore is going out of business on the East Coast, and they have uh, quite a lot of stores in like the New England states. And they've been around for quite a while. I don't either, Cindy B. I'm not a fan of Joann's much anymore. Um, but I will tell you about 25, 30, probably about 30, 35 years. That was the store. That, I, mean, I went in there all the time. I couldn't wait to buy fabric and things of that nature. Um, obviously, you know, they have to grow with, you know, the changing times and, you know, how people crafted things. I think that Michaels has done an excellent job of being able to keep up with, you know, that desire. Not only do they have, you know, um, the craft at great prices and, and they have the items that people want, but I like that they offer classes and things as well. I'm sure that Joann's in some locations has offered that, but I just don't think that they have trended with the times. When I think of um, Joann's, their name is right. Um, when I heard the story, I forget what news uh, station I was watching, but I was watching a news station when they announced AC Moore. They said that they were going out of business um, and that their uh, store was closing its doors they were buying into a Michaels franchise and that they were going to uh, actually end up employing more people than when they were under AC Moore. So that was, you know, great news. But it did remind me of Joann's, you know, they're buying into, you know, Michaels franchise because they want to be able to become trendsetters. They want to keep up with the change in ties and Michaels has found a way to do it. So. I bring that up because I think that way about Joann's. I went into the store and it just, it, it took me back. And I remember, you know, oh, I remember wanting to do everything, you know, getting odd jobs and things like that so I could buy it. Up. I remember, I, didn't even, I wasn't even married at this point, but I remember saying, oh, when my kids come along, <laughs> I'm going to make all of their clothes. <laughs> I would never do that now. Um, my first year, I think my first or second year of marriage, I, I I sold my entire wardrobe. My kids are grown, and I was married twice. My kids are from my relationship, so I'm tell you, um, it's been a long time. And I remember I, I sold my own wardrobe, you know, dresses and things like that. Oh, I remember that. I would never do that. I couldn't afford to nowadays. Marissa says, I got some new picks for my wreath, silicone shape tray for wax, and something else. Hi, Samantha. How are you? I finally have a stash. Took me nearly a year. How many are in your stash? Those are great. I love to see people's stash videos. I really do. I, um, I always say that I'm going to do my stash. is so personal to me. And um, when other people do their stash videos, you know, they just say, oh, I thought this was cute. And oh, this is how much this costs. I don't recall a lot of times how much the items that I just had to have. I don't recall how much they cost. I just remember having to have them. <laughs> That's because I'm, I'm, at, I'm still climbing in my, my uh, addiction. You know, I will soon probably get to a point where... Uh, I don't have to have that. That costs too much. No, that's not, you know, in the wheelhouse. I'm sure I'll get to that point. Uh, I'm just not there yet. And so when I see something I like, I want it, want it, want it. Man, oh, man. I think I have I have a, a lot of Diamond Art Club and uh, Ever Moment. I have a lot of their inventory. And I still go on their page and spend hours popping things into my wish basket. <laughs> uh, I can't share my wish basket too much because I'm trying to work down my stash. Um, I did invite, because my son, he is, 
he had an addiction to um, home fun and every moment, and he is slowly making his way over to Diamond Art Club now. So I invited him on um, two separate occasions to be able to kind of go perusing through my Diamond Art Club collection. Um, and he is, one of his Christmas gifts he asked for is a Diamond Art Club also. And he also wants some, he has uh, some customs that he is going to be ordered from every moment. But I will say he had a preference for every moment and home fun. The, he's a gumball from Diamond Art Club. He is really enjoying it. And he told me, I don't know, you know, I might have to make the switch. And this is a round. He doesn't really, he don't like rounds. He complains about being able to see the canvas a lot. But he told me that he is really enjoying it. He likes how fast it's working up. So hopefully, you know, that'll be something good. Cindy B says, I just kitted out a 50 by 100 koi fish. Wow. Nina says, I have a big old stash of three. Okay. Okay. All right, but nice says, how many do you have, too? How many do you have to have, have a stash? Um, I think, I think that's a good question, Odd. I think a stash is based on how many you can complete in a month. And if you have more than you can complete in a month, standard delivery time frame coming from um, China, you know, like Wish, AliExpress, or eBay, things of that nature. So for me, how I would uh, label a stash, oh, Pippa, you have a good evening and drive safe, okay? Thanks for coming. Marissa says more than one. Uh, <laughs> Rebecca says enough to make the closet door hard to close. <laughs> I like that. Uh, I'm going to say I agree with Marissa more than one. But I think for me, when I found, found that it was necessary to have a stash was when you find yourself waiting for your shipment to come in from another you know so my stash is only six deep so <laughs> um for me it was the length of time that it takes for a package to come in so if i can do three in a month then four is what's necessary for a stash because obviously you know i can start on one i can order at the beginning of the month if i finish all of them, i can start on the fourth and whatever I ordered at the beginning of the month should be coming in. So for me, it's however, it's it's just one more than however many you can complete in a month. If you can only complete one in a month, then two is your stash. If you are with it and you're able to do a lot of them in a month, five or six, then one more than that is your stash. I'm in the double digit, so I probably have one. <laughs> uh, uh, well, I have quite a few. And um, there is no stopping me. No time soon at all. I think there is an addiction to buying the art yourself. I have gone back and forth because I feel if it means something to me, then I can have it. So I just try and make sure to the artwork. And boy, so a stash video wouldn't work for me. And the reason it wouldn't work for me is because, you know, I'd be talking about, oh, how this, me what this means to me and why I decided to get it, what it looks like. It might not always be nice. Sometimes it would be sappy and sad. Other times it'd be like, huh? Oh, I don't get that, you know? So, but I do like to watch stash videos. I like them a lot. So they're soothing, they're relaxing, and they speak to my addiction, which is why I like them. Anything that speaks to my addiction, I like. And Marissa says, I had some smoked sausage. Whoa, what are we, ooh, what are we talking about? Mm. 
such control did you ever find any meat uh oh there we go we're talking about me cassie says i have enough that my hubby says i don't need any more so i probably have a stash that's definitely a stash marissa says i'm only supposed to have five but gifts yeah gifts well i agree with cindy b that i need to be working down my stash I I definitely do agree. Um, when I started creating the stash, the goal was to fill up the walls. If you guys look around, look around, look. You see that wall right there? This wall, this wall. I remember showing those walls and saying, I'm going to fill those walls up. Guess what? Those walls are still blank and empty. Because what happens is when somebody sees something they really like, oh, I want that, they start placing orders. I have since ceased taking orders and completing diamond paintings for the benefit of other. So other people's walls look good. My walls are still empty. So yeah, I'm back to doing it for me. As my son says, it's a burnout. <laughs> If you're not doing it for you, it's a burnout. How do you get back into enjoying it and making it fun? Only do the ones that you want. So I did that. Head back to me. Back to me. Right? Uh-oh. Marissa says, I picked up my groceries earlier, Tia, and they didn't put any of the meat I ordered in my car. Ooh. That's not good. Uh-oh can vouch. I remember the conversation. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> uh, Marissa, I, um, I have my food delivered. I'm, I'm that lazy. I think we last week. I have my food delivered through the app. And I know a lot of you guys were saying, oh no, I go and I pick it up. And I said that, you know, I'm working on the lazy. I'm not really working on it. I, I really value the the way that the free enterprise creates additional opportunities for me to be lazy. Really is have my delivery time changed. I usually have my items delivered just before I'm going to work. Um, and so it impacts what I can pack for lunch some days. And so how how do you deliver i had my meat delivered but there was no fixings no sandwich fixings there was no rolls for the sub sandwich and and things of that nature there was no sides to go with it Woo! boy did that make for an unhappy lunch but that doesn't mean that i'm going to go in to pick out groceries because someone asked me that i bet you I bet you you're going to go and get them now. That way they never forget. I don't think they'll forget after the earful that I gave them, <laughs> um, as well as the, the credit and things that I requested. Uh, I think they just don't want to deal with anyone like me anymore. They're just going to make sure they deliver the gift. The, I mean, the, um, the food the right way. This was lunch, man. Now I'm going to starve. Are you serious? What am I supposed to do? How are you going to get it to me in time? I need to leave in an hour. I mean, I really made them feel bad. I gave them an earful. In any event, I will say this. They did get they did get the order corrected and delivered to me within 30 minutes. So there was like really no impact to the lunch. And I'm sure I could have just took something else. But I mean, we don't want to give them that impression at all. So, but what do you do when you go and pick it up? Like, how do we do, what, how do we correct that? Can I vouch? I remember that. Can vouch, I remember. Oh, I read that wrong, I'm sorry. So yeah, I just thought I would share that. I'm only supposed to have, oh, I read that also. I'm all caught up, am, am I booted out? Is there is there something? Maybe, maybe. Anyway. Back to what I was saying about our December fun. 
Yes, we're going to be giving away a Diamond Art Club. Yes, I would like for everyone to participate. Um, and yes, I also would like for you guys to kind of throw out like what some of those, um, you know, wishes are. What do you guys like? Um, Justin and I are splitting the cost. So we need to know what we're getting. Going to be fun. Going to be fun. Lots of fun. Are there new releases coming this week? Because I thought there was supposed to be some last week. Would have been nice. Understand the timing. Why release new artwork the week of, you know, the big Black Friday buy one, get one sale? That wouldn't make sense. No, we'll release it the week after when there's no discount and people are now on no buys. We'll tempt them. Boy, whoever's handling their marketing. They better be getting a pretty penny. I can. That's all I can say about that. You, yeah, they did that with me as well, Marissa. But I kept saying, uh, uh I don't want it. Don't take the money. No, don't give me my money back. Give me my product. I'm gonna starve. What am I supposed to eat? I mean, I was really laying it on thick. I really was. I'm sure my my mom could have just went in and whipped something up. You guys know what my mom said to me um, yesterday? I'm sure you can all figure this out. She called me a pain in it. And I said, a pain in, in what? She shook her head like, I'm not going to finish that. And I said, no, seriously, a pain in what? What do you guys think it is? I am single and live with my mom. She doesn't tell me to stop buying. She says, while they're on sale, keep buying and add to. Well, there you go, Samantha. That's what we all need. We all need someone that loves us and enables us. I love your mom. Woohoo! Shout out to Miss Love. That also, but it kind of takes the fun away. That makes, that does, you know, I get that, Cassie. Nobody wants to compete for just any old thing. If we do that, you guys got to hype it up. You got to make it fun. Woohoo! You guys were in here last Wednesday for the big giveaway, and everybody was excited. They was calm. We were having fun. A Diamond Art Club gift card giveaway. I will, I will let him know. Your mom's a prime enabler. <laughs> uh, no one's going to tell me what in it what is, huh? No? Okay. I'll tell you what it was. This channel is not meant for kids. Just going to say that. There's no content in here that I am utilizing and sharing for the purpose of viewership of young children. When I say young children, I mean... Whatever that means to you, if you have a 32-year-old and you want to monitor it, you're a pain in it. And Justin said, that means ass. She's calling you a pain in her ass. Is that what that means? Yes, she is. But with being Christmas here, there are a lot of sales. Make history diamond painting. Just have us vote on whether we want rounds or square. Now, see, I, I love that idea. Maybe if I maybe if I mention what we're leaning towards, what do you guys think? I don't know. Nina says that's what she was thinking. <laughs> uh, you think she was saying that, Nina? I, I'm a pain in the ass? Really? Mm. That sounds pretty mean. But what am I going to say? This is the same woman who told me that I am an unappreciative male Maleficent. And I never got over that. I will put my vote in now for squares. <laughs> Were you talking about... <laughs> 
the diamond painting or what I was sharing. <laughs> uh, here we go. Oh, you guys see how this is coming together? This is so beautiful. I wish that you guys could see this. Well, you could see this. See the sparkle? Cindy B says, sorry, I was gone for a while. Phone call. I'll catch you up, Cindy B. <laughs> uh, Nina, I was picking with you. <laughs> I said, um, <laughs> um, I said, my mom told me last night that I was a pain in it. And I was trying to figure out what it is. And I kept asking and Justin finally said, it is ass. You are a pain in her ass. And I said, mom, and, and she never clarified. So there you go. <laughs> then Nina was responding to something that Odd said. <laughs> and I said, are you, are you talking to me or? Or were you talking to uh, you, you think my mom was calling me a pain in her, her ass also. So, <laughs> oh, very pretty. It is, isn't it, Cassie? I love it. I love it. Oh, I was going to plead the fifth on that one. <laughs> well, I don't know. A friend of mine asked me if I ever heard the word no when I was a kid. And I am still thinking of that. I don't recall, but I hear it enough now that I don't recall. I have been told that I was a spoiled brat. Do you guys think there's anything wrong with that, though? I don't. I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. My brother, who we have the same parents, by the way. Um, my, my brother calls me a spoiled brat as if I was treated different than him. And uh, I definitely know I wasn't. So Odd says maybe we can vote on an artist too. But you don't have to order it until someone wins. That way you don't have to ship it to us. I like that. I mean, I like all the ideas. I think Cassie has a great idea because, you know, I think when you get a choice, I think that will make a lot more people want to participate. I hate how um, a lot of my international subscribers, I hate how they don't like to participate because they have, you know, this additional um, charge that they incur. And then they know, obviously, you know, sometimes international rates are a little bit more. So they, you know, they're looking out for us and they limit their participation. I don't like that. I want them to participate as well. And you guys, I know that uh, some of my earlier subscribers and my earlier shows, you guys know, we talk about this all the time, you know, and what we can do to get them included in things. And a lot of times they just, they don't participate in things. Um, and so it's unfortunate, you know, and I get it. I definitely get it. I think Rachel was the one who pointed out to me um, at one point how much additional they pay when it comes to sending packages. They pay to go and pick their package up. They're, they're charged additional. So I, I think that was uh, that was crazy. So. I think um, that Cassie has a great point. Love what she said about the gift card. I think that would be ideal, especially for an international customer. Be, I mean, a subscriber, because the international subscriber, they would get the card, and then it probably wouldn't feel like so much additional when they're adding to it. It would feel like a discount for them. It would be a great win for you know one of our domestic subscribers because they're getting the Diamond Art Club of their choosing. You know, so that, I think that's a win-win. I do like, you know, the mystery diamond painting aspect. If you guys have been watching um, Crafting Journey with Rebecca, she she's been working on a mystery diamond painting. 
and I find myself tuning in. I mean, I do that with a lot of artists, but tuning in to try and see, you know, what that's coming out to look like. I think that's fun, especially, you know, from the viewership perspective when you're tuning in and you're getting the surprise right along with the, uh, the creator and the artist. So I like that. Nina has a very good point. You know, allow us to pick whether it's round or square. That's a good, you know, uh, point as well that I didn't think about. So I appreciate everyone's, um, you know, thoughts and things. I like that a lot. I would love a Chuck Pinson, but can't find his in square unless I have overlooked it. Um, do we have one in square? I think there's one that's a square. I have all but um, the 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 cottage one is a square. The one the lighthouse one. I'm sorry, that's a square. And I don't have that one. So there we go. What else of his? Let me see. Let me see, chickadee. That's a good idea. Pick an artist. Um, I can't remember. I can't remember. Um, Island Time. Yeah, I haven't started mine. That's Christmas Day. I can't wait. Um, is it on Golden Shores? I have that one also. Okay. On Golden Shores and Island Time are squares. And um, and then I believe the lighthouse one, Cottage by the Sea. Yes, Cottage by the Sea is a square. So there you go, Nina. There's three for you. Oh, this says Sea Breeze Trail is also. There we go. Well, I didn't realize that. I guess I got to look at them a little more closer. When I open them, I have Island Time slated to begin on Christmas Day. That's when I'm going to begin that. Whether I'm completed with my next project or not. So that will be, you know, Christmas Day. So, and obviously you guys know this is a Chuck Pinson um, as well. And uh, I'm enjoying it. Hope runs deep. Like it a lot. Enjoying it. Love the sparkle. Love the scenery. And so that's okay, Nina. It's okay. All right. So those are great um, concepts for, you know, for the really about another week before I have to make an announcement and, and then get ready. How it says basically the warmer weather ones are squares and the cooler weather ones. Well, there you go. Thought of it that way, but I like that. Um, are you guys getting a hamster wheel? I'm not, but I do have the yellow connection, unstable alert triangle. Wow. Tonight has been really strange. Not sure if they did that on purpose, but that's how it turned out. Yeah. I'm, I don't know. Time to get going. You got, you had the wheel. A baby one. Okay. Well, I don't know why that's doing that. So... One of the things that I wanted to ask you guys about, yes, they are. That is why I don't have the AC. <laughs> One of the things I wanted to ask you guys about is what are your Christmas traditions? Do you guys have any? Is it just, you know, pretty much family getting together? What does that look like? Um, for me and my kids, we kind of made you know, a week leading up to it where we have activities and things like that. Um, as they were growing up, I really wanted my kids to kind of respect the culture and traditions 
of other countries. And so every year, please smash that like button and show the lovely host some love. Woo! So every year when my kids were growing up, we would pick a country and we would almost do like a book, you know, our popular traditions, what are their popular food our own. There's such an eclectic mix of cultures and diversity in my family, you know, my, my parents alone, that I always wanted my kids to appreciate other um, cultures and other, you know, uh, people's background and the diversity that they share. So we would pick a country, we would go through and, and you know, determine what their culture is like and how they celebrate holidays. Do they have a Christmas tradition or a holiday similar to it? And we would pick a night and we would have their meal. And when we had their meal, we would represent like with either, as they grew older, this changed a little bit. But, um, oh, I'm sorry that you're getting the hamster wheels. Can you hear me when you're getting them? Hi, Raju. You're from India. Well, hello, welcome. I am from sunny Las Vegas. Although it's not sunny here today. It's been raining in the desert and we don't usually get this much water because the desert's supposed to be dry, but it's not dry. Anyway, we, um, we pick another culture. We learn everything inside out. And then as we build up to the week, we'll have a meal. Um, we'll have a night where we, you know, go over their dress and, and that type of culture. Um, we'll talk about, you know, popular hairstyles. Years have gone on because obviously when the kids were younger, we were more enthralled in this and, you know, picking, you know, costumes. We tried to, you know, redo. Oh, we tried to redo the costumes. Yes, my husband is trying to find it. Oh, he's trying to find what? What's it? We found out that it means something wholly different here. So I was just wondering what, what your husband's trying to find, Rajul. But here we go. Um, <laughs> so um, as I said, as the kids were younger, you know, we got more enthralled in it. As they got older, it was more book report style. Um, whatever they could. My husband is trying to find a wife. Okay. Rajul. We may not be having fun with you for much longer. I have a Jeremy and Jeremy will put an end to all of that. Um, so as I was saying, <laughs> we were, um, you know, as they got older, it went from, you know, immersing ourselves in the culture, trying to recreate the costumes, trying to recreate the, your wife, your son. Okay. I'm glad you clarified that. We can get, you know, 250 characters in a line. Uh, so there we go. Um, they would come to the table at this point and they would just bring their tablets or um, their cell phones with the pictures and things like that. It got really lazy over the, the years and things like that. So now that, you know, they're adults and stuff, and I think we kind of fell off maybe Maybe about three years ago, maybe four years ago, we fell off. We still try and pick, um, you know, a culture and try and recreate the food. You know, we talk about the country and everybody would show their phone. Here we go. Yeah, that's what they're doing. And, you know, like I said, it definitely fell off. So my son was telling me that, you know, he kind of misses some of the traditional build up that we had as we were. Um, as they were coming up and things. So this year we are going to be returning to trying to just, you know, recapture that. And we're going to pick a culture. We're going to try and immerse ourselves in some of their traditions. We're going to celebrate 
their uh, traditional, you know, holiday uh, that they have, and we're going to enjoy whatever, you know, their favorite meal is, look into their pastime and things of that nature. Um, some other things that we also try and do, uh, you know, during the buildup in the week, um, we go on a light, um, lighted tour of the homes here in Vegas. And we've been pretty much doing this same tour and same run for probably about 10, 11 years now. Um, and it's a, and it's an extensive tour. It's the same few homes that we go to. Obviously there's a drive there. Um, we make our cocoa and our marshmallows and things like that. And we carry them in our canisters. We get out and we walk the neighborhood. These are neighborhoods that are huge. Um, and they're really big into, you know, the lights and things. And I remember when my brother first moved out here, we took them, we said, get your coat because it's a lengthy, you know, I mean, we're in the car for maybe six minutes as we drive to the next neighborhood. And, you know, it may out of 15 houses on the street, it may only be three, maybe four that don't participate. So, you know, we immerse ourselves in that and we're out and we're walking. We have a cactus garden here in town and the cactus garden is decorated. They start um, the weekend of Black Friday and we go to the cactus garden and we kind of walk through the cactus garden. We definitely, definitely uh, take pictures and things. Um, and that's something that, you know, the kids and they're wanting to kind of bring back. And then, and this is something that is probably unique just to us, but we get a lot of laughs. I know a lot of people will get with their church community and their church may go around and they'll sing carols. They may be at like a public venue. They may be out in a park yard. They may be at a, like a nighttime uh, picnic or something. Um, but their goal really truly is to, um, you know, to offer carols someone is doing it. They may pick a beautiful neighborhood that's well lit and they'll go. Me and my kids for fun. Okay, Rajil, thank you for that announcement. Me and my kids for fun would flip it. And what I mean by flip it is instead of going to like those bigger homes and ringing the doorbell and all of us standing outside with a, you know, a carol book in hand, we would go into the projects. And for lack of anything better to do, we would knock on the door of the projects and we would sing Christmas carols and like kind of reverse generosity things in to, um, into you know their community and things like that i mean obviously we can't do a lot by the end when they saw that we were serious and we really were singing to them they would be like oh that's so sweet and oh that was cute and things so <laughs> although we looked crazy you know we did get to a point where you know we were welcomed and it was something that uh meant a lot to the kids you know we would go to a couple doors down because you know if you're in the project you knock on one door three or four doors gonna open um but you know we would go down to the next you know area and do the same thing and everyone would really appreciate that and they would really laugh and stuff so that's something that we would do during our build up something that my kids hated but that was important to me. I always wanted them to have an appreciation for whatever. The roof over their head, the food that they were able to eat, the clothing that I was able to, you know, afford them. I wanted them to have an appreciation for that. So, and this in Vegas, there is a um Salvation Army, it's a homeless shelter there. And then across the street is a shade tree where the um, homeless um, wives and children or women and children where they can go and stay. And unfortunately, um, if you're not there by a particular time in the evening, you don't have anywhere to sleep for that evening. You don't get 
and you I mean they don't let people in to just sleep on the floor until it's overcrowded they close the door at a particular time and once they do that a lot of they have to scatter and they have to sleep outside and they get cold and so little things that you can buy at the dollar store like a dollar tree where you break it and it warms your hands and things like that um, those become really like ideal and just you know offer a little bit of kindness and things during the cold you know nights and my kids they hated going to see them I, I wanted them to see the Dollar Tree gloves and feet warmers, things like that, we would pass out. The difficult part is we couldn't, you know, give them away to everyone. But definitely if we see someone who has, thank you, Nina. Jeremy, just boot them. Thank you. Um, the difficult part is that obviously, you know, if there are, a hundred people that are outside that didn't make it into the Salvation Army. We may not be able to afford, you know, gifts for all of them. So we would try if we saw groupings where there were children, you know, and things like that, we would try to be able to help. And it's difficult. It's gut wrenching and my kids hated it. But at the end of the day, you know, it gave them a lot to be grateful for. And I think that that is what has carried over, you know, over the years. When um people, my niece, <laughs> my niece is uh, 19. And my niece, I was talking to her and I was asking her, what'd you ask your parents for for Christmas and things? She gave me a list. It's long too. <laughs> I'm gonna try and help her out and get some of these things. But she gave me a list of things that she wants. And when I asked my kids, you guys um, heard what Justin wanted last week, my kids ask for things that are practical because they show an appreciation for what they have and what they get. I always try and get them something. Most of the kids their age are wanting anyway. But I get asked for things like socks, gloves, underwear, you know, practical things because they know, especially, you know, Justin, he says, you know, that way I can take my paycheck and go and buy what I want, you know, the fun thing that I want. My daughter, she's a sophomore in college and she'll be a junior in college. My daughter, she works online. She's been working online since she was 15. And although it's not full time, it's per diem work, it's, you know, editing. She is um, the editor of her college uh, newspaper and she's in their journalism uh, department. It still is something that I feel, you know, she's able to earn income of things either. But I do think it was that foundation we established when we would go places. What is, um, what is ideal, what is a, a necessity to someone who grew up in this culture, who grew up in that way of life? I think it was that, that realization, that reasoning, you know, and, and them becoming acquainted with a culture in another country is is what gave them maybe a little more understanding and maybe grounded their wants and the things that they request during this this time of year samantha says my mom and i knit beanies and scarves for the homeless That's something to keep them warm and why okay I crochet hats and gloves in this time and everybody can help one another. There you go. It is that time of the year where you do think about that. You think about, um, I think there is more of a focused effort in like a larger focused effort during, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas because it's colder during those months. You know, so I think that it is mainly on the minds of others um, because of what time of year it is. But, you know, I always ask because that's what we would do for our tradition. My kids are wanting that back. They're wanting to make sure that they don't lose sight of that. So this year I will be picking a culture for us to focus on. We will be immersing ourselves in, you know, what, you know, 
foods they like, what their, you know, dress looks like, their traditional dress looks like, how they celebrate holidays. Um, and, you know, we'll talk. Perhaps I'll share with you, <laughs> but it definitely is something that, you know, we'll be, you know, uh, adopting back into our traditions. Uh, the next thing that we'll do, obviously, we'll go to the Cactus Garden. Um, we're going to enjoy that. We are going to continue singing in the hood. <laughs> um, I definitely think singing in the hood is something that, that on the door and we start singing. Um, you know, decent. We, I, I try not to put too much tomfoolery in it because we knocking on doors so <laughs> it'd be different if we were out in the corner in the courtyard or something um so that's what i have coming up um you know i didn't know that i was hosting you know tia's crazy uh datathon you know but obviously uh tonight was the datathon so <laughs> i am uh, probably gonna get off of here because I keep getting this alert that says that my internet connection is going south. And I'm sure you guys keep getting, when I see that, I know that you guys are getting hamster wheels and things. So I will early, I'm sorry I was a few minutes late. I know, I told you guys I was closing my, um, I gotta see. I know I told you guys that I was, trying to get my packages here we go look at you can see the my big to get my packages and i was and i, I was also um opening them i couldn't like not open them so i apologize for that um i would like for you guys if you if you can i don't know if you can after a live i've never tried it but if you can comment down here with all the suggestions that you guys had as far as our giveaway that would help me out a lot. We'll take that into consideration. Um, I know we're going to run our live next week. We will have the announcement of how we're going to run the contest. I am trying to get everyone to participate in our Christmas fun. Um, and because I'm trying to get everyone to participate in the Christmas fun, um, all of your suggestions are going to be taken into consideration so that everyone is happy. And whoever our winner is, they, you know, they want to participate. They, they want to go after what they sorry that's, that's it for thank you tia for hosting always nice to see you thank you rebecca and a coloring book nook i really thank you for coming because i know that i just started watching your videos and you just started watching mine thank you very much for for coming out you're welcome nina you have a good evening cassie thank you for coming jeremy thank you thanks for hosting hope you have a fantastic night everyone you can comment after the live votes okay thanks i appreciate that you guys all have a good evening and uh see you next wednesday eight o'clock bye